Did you ever get a rocket motor and you notice that there's black powder in the bottom of the bag or in the package? I'm going to show you how to fix that in this episode. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, a common occurrence is that you buy a rocket motor and you notice in the package there's some black powder in the bottom. Don't panic. This is typically normal. Um, it's because of the way that the rocket motors are packaged. When you open the package, uh, keep all the black powder in the package, okay? Um, I, I left this bag open here. But if you look on the top of the rocket motor, there's a paper cap. Um, and you can pry up this paper cap just by grabbing an edge with the tweezers and, and pulling it up and see how easy it comes up. Uh, this paper cap holds the black powder in the rocket motor. See the black powder, the loose black powder in there? Um, well, this, this cap <clears throat> is an adhesive disc, kind of like an, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of like an Avery label. It's got adhesive on one side. And when the manufacturer puts it into the casing, um, the black powder sticks to it. And once it's stuck to it, pretty much wipes out the adhesive. And the adhesive doesn't have a lot to grip on. And then the black powder moves along the edge and it leaves a little residue of black powder on the inside of the edge. So, um, so you get black powder on the edge of the adhesive too. And so they don't stick very well. Uh, but you can repair them and, and they don't have to stick really, really tight. Um, you just need to keep the black powder in the rocket motor until the ejection charge goes off. If you look in the bottom of the, uh, the motor, you'll see a hole in there. And that's the little well where the ejection charge sits. And uh, they, they pour in enough to push out the, uh, the parachute of the rocket. So now you're going to take the, the leftover black powder that's in the bag and just pour it back into the rocket motor very carefully. Try to get it all in there. You know, if a little spills out, it's, it's going to be okay. Um, and then you want to take the paper cap and push it back in. Now, if, if it doesn't want to stick, now this one is very loose because it's got so much uh, black powder on the, on the adhesive. You can take a piece of tape and you can put it on top. Now, if your uh, motor is wider than, a, than one piece of tape, just take two pieces of tape and just lay them together like that to make it wider. All right. Um, and then you just want to lay that over the top. And you want to find something like a wood dowel or something that's very close to the diameter of the motor and push it in just like that. And when you do, kind of work it around the edge like that, and then push it down. And then take a hobby knife, take a sharp hobby knife, and just trim off the excess tape. Just like that. And that will keep the black powder in so you can fly the rocket. Now, a lot of the motors um, reloadable, the newer ones, um, have a, a plastic cap, which is really nice. But the older style, um, all the 18 millimeters and the Apogee E6 and the F10 are the old style that have the paper cap on them. And that's how you repair this. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Over here off to the side, we have some other videos that I think you're going to enjoy. Please subscribe to our channel just down there on YouTube. Um, and also, please leave us a comment. We love to hear what you're, you have to say about us. And, and if you have any questions, you can ask them down there and we'll try to answer them. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.